which concludes my last will and testament, given on this day at Galt, Ontario. Signed, John Graham, and witnessed by myself. I choose to extend the bequest shown on page 2, paragraph 3 of this disposition to include any male descendant of my direct line who will undertake to return to the town of our family's origin, Irvin Scotland. Crossing the harbour bar at dawn, he will spend all of one day, until dusk, viewing the town and meeting with those members of our family who still live there. This is Irvin. Why did the old man want me to come back here? What was it he used to say? A man needs a sense of history. Well, he'd find it here, all right. Doesn't look as if they've moved a stone since John Galt finished his annals of the parish and set out for Ontario to found my hometown. That and Robert Burns sleeping here. It's just too historical. But nobody's lodged here since. There's no real family left to talk of. Just a distant uncle and an equally distant aunt. And this girl the family have set up for me to meet. Sarah, my second cousin, twice removed. Hello. You must be Keith. Oh, yeah. Sarah? I suppose everyone in Galt, Ontario, is expected to come to Irvine. I don't know. With me, there was this family bequest. So it was kind of easy to talk me into it. Anyway, I've been strolling around since dawn, and it's not a bad little town. Just a small town. Not like Galt, I expect. Yeah, Galt's got a pretty busy main street, too. And plenty of stores. And a city hall. Now, you should see that. Very impressive, just like home. Hey, look, what is this? Mary Mass. Hey, what's that? It's a fair. Oh. What's it for? For folk to enjoy themselves. It's about the oldest fair in Scotland. The local tradespeople run it.
seeing. Oh, all of today. Then I better take you up to see your uncle. The blacksmith? The same. I expected at least a spreading chestnut tree. <laughs> oh, I'm just a lapsed blacksmith. <laughs> it's horsepower these days, Keith, not horses. <laughs> However, you only have the one day. Why don't you take him up to Aunt Jean and tell her I'll see her at the weekend? Hey, Aunt Jean, is she the one who knits? Yeah, well, I can't go and see her because I'm not wearing the sweater she sent me. Oh, I wouldn't worry. Yours wasn't the only one she sent to Canada. in here. How can they stop us? Between us, we're related to half the town. Ah, so you're the Canadian sailor showing around. You picked yourself a pretty good guide, you know. Yes, well, uh, I like to think so. Is there anything special you'd like to see? No, I don't mind. Didn't you used to make ships here, Glenn? Well, that was before my time, Sarah. But that's all in the past. What do you make now, Glenn? Now we make the containers that go into the ships that cross the Atlantic. How about a real drink? I like milk. <laughs> Good urban milk, no doubt. Good urban bottles, too. Five to five. 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 Five to five.
Robert Burns. I was brought up in Burns. Oh, give me the girl that has acres of charms. Oh, give me the girl with the well-tilled farms. So Burns was a great man for the girls, huh? The Asia girls. <laughs> that figures. He came here before your great, great great-grandfather left for Canada. Oh. And maybe they knew each other? I don't think so. Our great-great was on the temperance side of the family. This is an original manuscript of Robert Burns. And the poem is The Cutter's Saturday Night. And as you can see, it's in his own handwriting. Burns spent a year of his life in Urban, and our museum room is dedicated to that year that he spent in our town. Here we see Burns arriving at his lodgings in Glasgow Bennell in Urban. This scene in Templeton's bookshop was where Burns first read the works of Ferguson. Poverty and obscurity were never far from Burns' mind. While he was in Urban, Burns learned the flax dressing, and here we see him in the heckling shop. During this period, Urban was the major port for Glasgow. But it wasn't all work for Burns. Had enough of culture. Here we see him in Eglinton Woods, friend. There is a castle and the woods. They are a place of beauty. another castle? That's the stables. You're kidding. Original Adams stables. Been restored. You know about the Adams brothers, do you? No, but I know one thing about Scotland. Everything seems to be in the past. Just wait until you get inside. <laughs> uh, I should learn to keep my big mouth shut. Table blocks, mad earls, sea castles with his no sea. Where'd you learn all this history? At school. 
That's old school. Hmm. Looks old enough to teach history. Oh, it is. We built a new one for modern subjects. the airport was so near. Nobody ever said rowing was the easiest way to get to Irvin. <laughs> I'm learning. Are these the biggest ships that can get up here? Uh-huh. It's beautiful. They say it'll be even better when we build the new town. Tell me about it. What's the town? Thousands more people and jobs for them too. Yeah, but why here? Well, it's nice here by the sea. You just take all the advantages of the old place and make them available to more people. Won't be the same place. Might be a better place. About this bequest, Keith. What about it? How are you going to spend it? Have you worked it out? Spend it? Well, there's no money involved. Didn't I tell you? I get the complete works of Robert Burns, calf bound. <laughs> <laughs> 